Hi, and thank you for visiting my channel. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow. Now let's get started. WWE under Triple H's leadership has vastly changed the company and altered some old rules. Recently, the King of Kings sent a hilarious message to CM Punk's son, Larry the Dog, after Monday Night Raw. AJ Lee and Larry have been an integral part of CM Punk's current storyline in WWE against Drew McIntyre. The Scottish Warrior has mentioned Lee and Larry in his promos, which has infuriated the Second City Saint on several occasions. On the latest edition of WWE Raw, Larry was seen backstage, and several superstars interacted with him. Today, Triple H sent a hilarious message and dubbed Larry the Legend after their recent backstage interaction. Bianca Belair also interacted with Larry when she entered the arena. All kinds of legends were backstage at hashtag WWE Raw this past Monday, at CM Punk and I were there, too, Hunter wrote. The game has often interacted with stars and legends in the back before the show, and Larry was seen across social media interacting with superstars and walking in the ring before the show. CM Punk jokingly claims Larry booked a major win on WWE Raw Monday Night Raw is in its final weeks before Bad Blood in Atlanta, and the landscape changed for a major reason. Earlier this month, JUSO became the new number one contender to Braun Breaker's Intercontinental Championship. After a few confrontations, the management booked the title match for Monday Night Raw this past week. The two stars closed the show with the championship on the line, and the title shockingly changed hands. In his second title defense on television, Braun Breaker lost the Intercontinental Championship to Main Event J. This marked USO's first singles title win in the Stamford-based promotion, which transpired 14 years after his debut. Later, CM Punk jokingly claimed Larry was the booker behind the decision on Monday Night Raw. Larry was seen in the ring before the event, and several notable names interacted with Punk's son before the show. The arena buzzed with excitement as WWE Raw aired live from the packed Staples Center in Los Angeles. The crowd was on fire, the lights dimmed, and the familiar theme music of the show blared through the speakers, signaling the beginning of another action-packed night. But little did the audience know that a surprising, hilarious twist was about to unfold backstage, one that would have the entire roster buzzing long after the show ended. Larry, a beloved production assistant known for his quirky sense of humor and infectious energy, had unexpectedly made his way into the spotlight. He was initially seen backstage, joking around with the crew, cracking one-liners, and sharing stories that left everyone in stitches. However, it was his sudden appearance in a backstage segment with Seth Rollins that really stole the show. As Rollins prepared for his match against Finn Balor, Larry jumped into the frame, giving a wild impersonation of Rollins' iconic entrance, complete with exaggerated poses and an over-the-top attitude. The crowd erupted in laughter, and the segment quickly went viral on social media. As the show concluded, Triple H, WWE's chief content officer, was busy preparing for the weekly debriefing with the creative team. However, he couldn't shake the laughter from Larry's unexpected cameo. Deciding to channel his amusement into something productive, he pulled out his phone and began typing a message to the entire WWE roster. Triple H's group chat message asterisk hey, team. Hope you all enjoyed the show tonight. I just wanted to take a moment to address the elephant in the room, or should I say the Larry in the room? First off, can we just take a second to appreciate how our very own Larry somehow managed to steal the spotlight from our top superstars? I mean, it takes a special kind of talent to crash a segment and still manage to look cooler than Seth Rollins. I don't know about you all, but I'm starting to think we should hire Larry as our official superstar impersonator. But let's be real for a moment. If Larry's going to keep this up, we might need to consider a new title for him. How about Director of Laughter or Chief Comedy Officer? I can see it now, Larry strutting around backstage, clipboard in hand, rating our jokes on a scale of 1 to 10. If we get below an 8, we're all getting roasted on a live mic next week. In all seriousness, we could all use a little more of that infectious energy around here. Larry, you may not be a trained wrestler, but you've got the charisma and personality to keep this place buzzing. 
Just don't take my job, okay? I propose we let Larry host the next episode of WWE After Dark. Imagine him cracking jokes about the wrestlers while they try to remain serious. I guarantee it would be the most entertaining segment we've seen in a long time. And for those of you who missed it, Larry just pitched me a new idea for a reality show, Behind the Scenes with Larry, the real story of WWE. I'm not saying it's a bad idea, but I'm also not saying it's a good one. So, if you see him walking around with a camera crew, just know it's not for a documentary on the history of wrestling, although that would be hilarious in itself. On a serious note, keep bringing that energy, folks. We can all learn a thing or two from Larry. Life is short, and if we can't have fun while doing what we love, then what's the point? So, let's lighten up, crack a few jokes, and remember to enjoy every moment, on and off the screen. Lastly, I expect all of you to step up your game. If Larry can manage to outshine us, what does that say about our level of entertainment? I want to see more personality, more laughter, and definitely more fun. So here's to Larry, the unexpected star of the night, the guy who reminds us all not to take ourselves too seriously. And who knows? Maybe you'll be the one getting the big title match next. Keep up the great work, everyone. And Larry, if you ever want to come out and do a comedy routine, just remember, we'll pay you in pizza and backstage access to all the nachos you can eat. Triple H. As the message circulated through the group chat, laughter ensued. Wrestlers, writers, and production staff alike chimed in with their own hilarious responses. Seth Rollins, ever the sport, replied with, I guess it's time for my How to Be a Superstar seminar featuring special guest Larry. Even Roman Reigns added his own twist, I'll fight anyone who tries to take Larry out of the spotlight. The big dog protects his territory. Meanwhile, Larry, blissfully unaware of the uproar he had caused, was backstage munching on some nachos, still buzzing from the adrenaline of being on screen. When he finally saw Triple H's message, his eyes widened in disbelief. Wait, I'm being considered for a title match, he exclaimed, a big grin spreading across his face. The crew burst into laughter, realizing Larry had just become the unexpected darling of the night. As the WWE Universe continued to buzz about Larry's unforgettable moment on Raw, Triple H's message resonated throughout the locker room. The mood shifted as the wrestlers and crew embraced a lighter, more playful atmosphere. They realized that amidst the fierce competition and the pressures of the business, it was vital to find joy in what they did and appreciate the humor in their daily lives. Over the next few weeks, Larry continued to pop up in various backstage segments, each time bringing his unique brand of humor and energy. Inspired by Triple H's message, the roster began to incorporate more lighthearted elements into their characters and storylines. It wasn't long before the phrase, what would Larry do, became a common motto among the superstars, guiding them to find fun in their performances. And so, from that night on, Larry became a fixture in WWE, a reminder that in the world of sports entertainment, laughter is just as important as any title or championship belt. Triple H had sparked a shift in culture, encouraging everyone to embrace their quirky sides, and for that, the entire WWE family would forever be grateful. In the end, it wasn't just about wrestling, it was about creating memorable moments that would last a lifetime, and in the world of WWE, nothing was more valuable than the joy of entertaining the fans.